Hi, I'm Josh Shupak. I built the Location IQ Mapping Pack for the Coda Packathon, and I'm going to walk you through it today. Uh, you can take uh, location and address data, turn it into maps, distances, driving times, time zones, and more. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the features really quickly. Uh, so starting off, we got a bucket list of places I'd like to visit. Um, we've already created a latitude and longitude column with a formula from the pack called simple lat long where it just takes a simple string and put, turns it into a latitude and longitude and then we can take that and pass it into our uh, uh, map maker and we just pass in destinations lat long as the source and boom we got a map of all the our bucket lists and it's sorted by priority I set that up earlier so the bigger ones are priority three Next up, we got something a little more advanced, customer dashboard. We got a nice big map here, and it's color-coded um, based on the status. So I've got um, this column here is using a formula to take um, the status and turn it into a color for the map. So the green ones are the active customers. Um, and as soon as you update uh, a customer, the, the map will update, you add a customer, they'll get added instantly and automatically to the map. Uh, we can we can make a trip planner. So let's say you're going to visit Chicago. Um, we can look up customers that are in nearby Chicago. So here we've got one um, near Gary, Indiana, and then we can zoom out further and see there's a few more customers. And we can actually sort them uh, by the distance to where we're going. Kind of same idea, but with a bounding box. So this is uh, all of the Pete's coffees and teas. Uh, in this area between Disneyland and Universal Studios, and we can zoom out a bit and see um, more of them from the surrounding area. You can also look up time zones. So here, once again, we'll see what the time zone is in Chicago, latitude and longitude is pulled from the API, and then um, it pulls also the time zone from that latitude and longitude. Um, and lastly, we can do driving times and distances. So let's see how far it is to drive from Disneyland to Chicago. Um, so we've got this part right here, that as distance as a crow flies, this is um, a built-in coda function. So we can take two latitudes and longitudes and see how far apart they are um, as the crow flies. And then this number here is actually pulled from the API. It's the driving distance, and we have also got the driving time. So there's a tremendous amount of things uh, you can do with this. Anytime you've got address or location data, you can add a map to your documentation, look up driving times and distances, and there's all sorts of things you can do to in improve your documents. So thanks.